delivery so I'm gonna get this put away so that I can get them breakfast and get my coffee made and then clean up the kitchen so I've got some protein shakes as I'm trying to get like I've been trying to work out and trying to start drinking these hopefully will help because my legs are so sore from the workout I did the other day, like Mommy. I can't even bend down Mommy. anymore. Who's for those? those are mine. So I hopefully want, drinking some protein I shakes. I want milk out. that's already made. And milk then I got milk. some vanilla ice cream. Yeah. I hate protein shakes, so I was trying to come up with a way that I could actually drink them. So I think I'm gonna use them to make my birthday cake um, milkshakes. What? Got some strawberries. You can cookies. make me a milkshake too, right? Not right now. And then some conditioner that I needed, some glue, some more What's women's the medicine. Glue for? I got some liquid eyeliner because I wanted to try out using it again and I don't have any. I got some cake mix, which, which is what I use for my milkshakes. Some rainbow chip icing because I was craving it. This stuff's so good. I used to eat it with my mom as a kid. Pickles. The fruit snacks, some ground beef, my camera battery's about to die so I'm trying to hurry, some apples, and lastly some eggs because I'm about to have to use all the eggs that we have to die and then I'm in charge of making deviled eggs for Easter dinner. I needed to replenish the eggs. I saw this video on TikTok where apparently if you tap your egg really lightly with a spoon, it like separates the membranes and makes them easier to peel when you boil them. <laughs> but like, you hear that click? How crazy is it that you can like hear that? I don't know how well you can hear it with the water boiling right there. making sure that we all have our Easter outfits together and like somewhat coordinated, which is kind of hard to do with five people. So I need to look and pick out our Easter outfit so that we can get a little dressed up. 
Easter is the perfect excuse for me to get to wear some jewelry. So I have a new package from Anna Luisa to open today with some new pieces. So I've got three things in here that I'm so excited to open. Cute little dainty necklace, like the opal look in the middle. Love. Let's open this little orange. This is an ear cuff, which I was excited about because I want to have like more ears, like ear jewelry, but I'm too scared to get anything pierced really. So I thought this would be a cool way to have like a nice little added look on my ear. It's a pair of earrings. It's a little pair of earrings. They look like a little chain link. And they're just super simple, would go with anything, like a nice little staple earring. These, all three of these items would be perfect little additions to my Easter outfit. I always forget how much of a confidence boost it is to wear jewelry. And like every time that I like rarely ever wear jewelry. So then every time that I put it on, I'm like, Sandra, why don't you wear jewelry more often? Like it looks so cute. And part of the reason that I rarely ever wear jewelry is because like my ears are pretty sensitive to jewelry and they like get really itchy, but I've never had problems with Anna Luisa uh, earrings making my ears itchy. Like they're actually really comfortable for me. Excuse the fact that I probably don't really know how to wear this thing correctly. I feel like you could kind of like it's kind of universal and look now I've got like a little ear cuff to go along with these and it like it pairs so nicely together. I usually hate gold jewelry. I'm more of a rose gold person. I don't really like silver all that much either but I actually really have been liking my Ana Luisa stuff even though it's like um gold so if you want to check out Ana Luisa, which I highly recommend, this is like my third time trying their stuff and I've loved every single piece that I've gotten from them. So if you're interested in trying them out, there will be a link in the description box and you will get a 20% off discount if you use that link so that you can try out some of their amazing pieces they have so many different things to choose from and they do have sales quite often so I highly recommend checking them out if you're in the market for uh, for some new jewelry they've got so many different options um, rings bracelets necklaces earrings and I love the little cases that they come with because these would be so nice for like traveling so that your jewelry's not getting all tangled and stuff. I love that they come in these little pouches that you can use to keep it, it safe when you're not wearing it. The fuck are you doing? I need my sweatpants. What are they? I don't know. My white ones. I don't know oh, where you hands. strip. How am I supposed to keep up with this? What, idiot? All right, so the eggs are in their ice bath, and so freaking many of them like busted and cracked, and I don't understand why, so that's pretty annoying. So I've basically made a full 18 and 12 pack of eggs, and um, I probably don't even, I don't even know how many are actually going to be usable to die. But here soon, we're going to start making our Easter treats, so I went on Pinterest to try and find some like somewhat simple but fun and still good Easter treats to make um, just to do something with the kids and then figured I could just take them with us to Easter dinner on Sunday so that I don't have a ton of desserts sitting around in the house that we can't all that we can't eat all of by ourselves so I have three ideas for Easter treats that I want to attempt to make with the kids today you want to see what we're going to make today? First up, got these little dirt, um, dirt cake cups. I want to see. Hmm. Yeah. They have peeps in them. Me mm -hmm. too. Peeps yummy. Yeah. This one. 
<gasps> these little Let me see Rice Krispie treat nests. And then lastly, I thought this would be like the most fun, but the most challenging. I have no idea how this is going to work. Jello eggs. So I bought a ton of jello. I bought a ton of jello and some extra eggs. Traditionally, these are made with a jello or made with an egg mold, but said egg mold isn't like sold anymore, isn't made anymore. Like you have to get lucky and find one like at a thrift store or have one passed down in your family basically from what I've read. So I don't have a way to get my hands on said egg mold. I mean, maybe I could have, maybe there is still something. Mom! But it's too late anyway, even if I could. So I just bought extra plastic eggs that we're gonna try and make them in. So fingers crossed that that even works. Silicone egg mold. Yeah, see I don't see one. I don't see any that are like the full Let me see them. Can I see them? Hang on. Can I the see full egg mold about? like you would need. So I'm hoping that I can I've gotta put a hole in the yeah. top of the eggs and then we got I bought little syringes so that we can syringe the jello into the eggs. And um, see a let it set, and then hopefully we can just take the plastic egg off and have a cool little Jello egg. Hang on. See, like there's one on self on Etsy for twenty two dollars. These things. Can I see? There's this kind of mold. I want to see. Which apparently isn't like made anymore. This is way. It's way too advanced. Like, babies in there. These are way too advanced, but I like, look how cool eggs. those look. I want to see those. Do we have egg molds here? I, want to see I swear, I can never think straight because they are always talking them. over me and in my ear. I want to look at that. So that's the three things we're gonna attempt to make today. The Jello eggs are more so for fun. I don't really anticipate anyone's gonna care to want to eat those. I mean, me and the kids. Well, I don't know how I would feel about them, but I'm sure the kids would like them. That's more so for like fun, like crafty, like sensory type thing. Um, the other two things are hopefully gonna be good that we can take to Easter dinner for dessert for everyone. I'm trying to get the kids to watch Land Before Time right now because I just found it on Netflix. I'm gonna share our dessert with everyone at the restaurant. Not at the like restaurant. Like for my mouth. Then where are we? At Muma's house. Like for my mouth. Good job. Eat at Muma's. Not today. On Sunday. On Easter. Then where are we going to eat dinner at? 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 Where are we and you'll, yeah, and you'll eat at Great's house, and then we might be going to Yaya's house after that. I don't know. I'm going to Yaya's. I have to wait and see if they're going to do anything. Um, and I want to go in their pool, too. It's too cold cool to go in the pool. I'm just going to play there outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found Land Before Time on Netflix, and this used to be one of my favorite movies as a kid. But these kids are little buttheads and they don't like to watch anything that I like to watch. Anytime I try to put any like OG movies on, movies that I loved as a kid, they throw a fit and they just want to watch their usual little things, Abby Hatcher and like all those little things that are newer. And it's like, dude, just watch some of the OGs, please. Like they won't, they threw a fit about me putting Land Before Time on. I can't get them to watch Oliver and Company, which was like my all time favorite movie as a kid it's hard getting them to watch any princess movies besides frozen like they don't ever want to watch the good movies like london's like i want to have a movie night and watch a movie i've never yuck, seen before yuck, but then mommy. when you put a movie on that yuck. they've never seen before they're like i don't like that i want to watch this like this is a good movie movie night tomorrow is that hand good okay mommy uh i don't know is that hand good bud Hands are yucky to eat. Not to babies. Because babies don't even say anything. Mommy. 
Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think Jace's first word will be? I think Jason's uh, first word will be, um, I don't know, I don't know please for Jace. I think that's his. That's a long first word. I was thinking, I was thinking something like mama or dada. But I guess he'll say, I want to play with Play-Doh, please. If he knows that. Oh, mommy. Are you going to be in a better mood today, sir? Because you were pretty, uh, pretty fussy yesterday. Look at you, my eyes. Look at him, my eyes. Well, yeah. His eyes almost match my eyes. Huh, huh mommy? <laughs> mommy, right? <laughs> mommy, right? Yeah. Like I had. Oh, I like, shall we. What baby colored eyes did I have when I um when it came out of your tummy? Because I don't remember. Your eyes were blue until you were like one. <laughs> then they started to change to hazel. When I grew, grew and grew like you. Yeah. Who's coming to play? Who's coming to play? Gaga found out when she was a baby. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know who Gaga's mom is. Um. I think it's Brianna. <laughs> Yesterday, London asked me, she said, whose tummy did you come out of? And I said, Mimi's. And she said, how did you grow so fast? I said, I didn't. This is almost 23 years of growing. You've been growing for four and a half years. Or maybe 16. No. Because that's almost like a lot. Yeah. Maybe you got a long ways a before you're 16. I do what? What and man, oh man, is that going to be fun? Where are 16, Mommy? In 12 yeah. years? Jason's first time trying to front carry. Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it in there? You can see? Now you can see when we're watching it. I'm get started on the dirt cakes now. They're using up the leftover jello just in a muffin mold. Mom! What's this? 
just extra. Christopher and his brother are upstairs because his brother's on spring break and decided to come stay with us, I'm guessing, until we go over there on Easter. And I had Christopher pick up another pack of eggs so I could try and get some more. Basically, I ended up making basically 30 eggs and only six of them were usable for whatever reason. Bag. If you haven't gotten rid of every box you've ever bought. I don't know if it's called London Rain. London Rain? Yeah. London Rain isn't your middle name. Rain is your middle name. Your first name is London, your middle name is Rain. First name London, middle name London Rain. What's your, what's your last name? Bop. Bop. That's my name on Call of Duty. No, see this my name is Bob. B O P. I got called. I talked call? to you on the phone. Called getting pulled over, didn't I? Didn't That's get. That's why you should have said that. I already knew it was gonna happen. There's way too many cops out, dude. Going to AutoZone from Mom's Me house, too. I saw four. Can I put a lid? Within five minutes, I'm like, what the hell? Me too. It's Easter weekend. Like. Like. Yeah, they're like um. Like they're separated. They're not coming out as a. At least the other two things worked out. No eggs. None of them are going to come out as a solid egg. Oh well, at least it was fun for them today. I already told you why I'm shaking the eggs. London apparently doesn't feel good today. She woke up this morning complaining Give me my that, cup. hang on, complaining that she felt like she was gonna throw up. And she's been not herself today. So I guess she doesn't feel good. We go mix it. We mix it with my dad Adams. Woohoo! I want to put water in it.
I want to make this one. Ashlyn keeps just dipping her whole hand in it. So she's got one red this. hand and one blue hand. I want the wrapper. Hmm? I need a wrapper for my eggs. You're a mess. If you're just turning it poop green at this point. All right. Enough. That's enough. Put it down. Not so rough. Stop doing that. How about you stop dyeing your hands to different colors? A little lame for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. to check out the link in the description box so that you can head over to Anna Luisa's website. They're currently holding their spring sale, which is buy one, get one 40% off, or use my code thedeckers20 for 20% off. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love.